Ian Watkins is allowed to use his Twitter and SoundCloud behind bars. Oh. Fuck. What a time to be alive. Besser. What is up, everybody? This is Atticus, the Death Metal. Before I get down to the topic on hand here, I just want to make sure to all my viewers and subscribers, I hope all of you had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I know I have. I celebrated my 25th lap around the world, my 25th birthday. Um, although, also, other stuff um, on this upcoming weekend, I'm going to be seeing Battlecross and Legion on December 4th, this upcoming Sunday, with official GATG. If you want to check us out, meet us, hang out with us, and we're also going to be doing an interview with a Legion for Stoutmeister's upcoming episode of Great American Demise, so catch up on that. Now that I'm done with that, let's get down to the topic at hand here. This video is a three-year follow-up on Ian Watkins. Now, Ian Watkins was the former vocalist of the rock band known as Lost Prophets, and... Oh boy, I never thought I would ever talk about this motherfucker ever again. Now... I've talked about him in one of my earlier videos, and of course, all of my buddies, Official GATG and Some Guy 827 made two videos on this motherfucker, especially on this topic I'm talking about, as well as Ranter and Shades, Skull Ripper 4900, Damien Skyfire, and Cover Killer Nation talked about Ian Watkins. And oh boy, if you look at all the videos down in the description below, you know why he is a horrible, disgusting, deplorable piece of shit. Now, Atticus the Death Metal, what has Ian Watkins done? Well, he has been charged with 13 charges of child abuse, as well as attempting to rape a one-year-old, and as well as issue a Skype call where he made a crazed groupie perform sex acts on her own infant child, as well as blowing crystal meth smoke into that child, and dubbing those two as his slave duo. Yeah, and a bunch of other really fucked up shit that I I can't really talk about because if I did, I would have the fucking urge to take a sawed-off shotgun, shove it into his mouth, and blow his fucking head off. Ready? Now... I am well aware that metal musicians and rock musicians have done a lot of heinous shit. For instance, Varg of Burza, most notably this guy who did a lot of arsons around in Norway, burning churches down, and most infamously, he murdered his former bandmate, Euronymous. Tam Lambesis of As I Lay Dying, who attempted to hire a hitman to assassinate his ex-wife, and King 810's David Gunn and Eugene Gill, who have been charged with vicious assault as well as even murder. But those motherfuckers pale in comparison to what Ian Watkins has done. I mean, those four would viciously tear him to shreds if they saw him behind bars. I mean, good fucking God! Now... This video is going to talk about the recent news that's going on around Ian Watkins. Now, what is Ian Watkins doing right now? Well, the reason why he is sparking a lot of controversy, thanks to some guy A27 sharing this information, he has been known to have his Twitter account back and is working on a new project on SoundCloud. Yeah! That's the thing going on, people! Now, <laughs> I know that, you know, rappers have done music behind bars, most notably Tupac and all the other stuff, but who the fuck would support Ian Watkins? Who in the right mind would fucking work with a guy like Ian Watkins who wanted to start, like, a child sex trafficking ring and, like, like make subservient infant children to have sex with animals. Yes! This guy has talked about this shit! I'm not even fucking kidding you right now! He has talked about this shit! He wanted to do this shit! And people are wanting to work with this guy? I, I just need to ask the person who is 
thought it would be the greatest idea into working with Ian Watkins or people that are thinking of supporting his new music project and all this other shit. Now, I know it's people that, you know, who miss the music from Lost Profits, but if you want to support, you know, Lost Profits, support the remaining members of Lost Profits that moved away from Ian Watkins' bullshit and shit like that. Like, support their other projects that they're doing that are, you know, that they've moved away from Ian Watkins. Why don't you fucking do that? I mean, I feel bad for the musicians and stuff like that, but at least they're moving the fuck on and stuff. Oh my god. I mean, 2016 is almost done, and yet I hear this shit happening. Oh my fucking god. And I know a lot of you people are, are going to be saying this stuff. And I'm, of course, going after Twitter on this shit. Why is it that Twitter, that you are championing, you know, into like, you know, banning people, banning people for cyberbullying and stuff? Why the fuck did you ban Milo Yiannopoulos? And I know a lot of you people are not fans of Milo Yiannopoulos who are fans of mine that don't like Milo Yiannopoulos. That's fine. Like, but but the thing is, why the fuck does Twitter have the fucking balls to ban Milo Yiannopoulos from Twitter and yet they allow ISIS recruiting pages and Ian Watkins on Twitter? That is the one question I have to ask Twitter. Twitter, you need to get your fucking shit together. And before I end this video, yeah, Ian Watkins, you can go fuck yourself. And I think I am done with this video right here. I'm just so pissed off over this stuff. I mean, just good God. Without further ado, ladies and gents, I am Atticus, a death meddler. Hope you like this video. Subscribe to my channel. Links are in the description below. Keep it metal. Have a wonderful day. And oh, God. I can't believe this year is almost over with.